All right, now that you've learned about the divisions of plant science and agri-science, we're gonna start talking about the different careers that maybe one of you guys may want to do after you graduate. So, we'll start it off by talking about a florist. A florist, if you think back to Valentine's Day, well, if you ever bought cut flowers for your girlfriend or boyfriend, well, it might have come from a florist. So, a florist designs and arranges cut flowers. The next one we're gonna talk about is a groundskeeper. A groundskeeper, if you have someone that maintains your yard at your house, a landscaper, they are called a groundskeeper. They maintain lawns and landscape areas. The next one we're gonna talk about is a landscape architect. A landscape architect is a professional trained in the art and science of arranging landscape and objects in that landscape. So if you go to Walmart, the parking lots, where those trees are, where the drains are, a landscape architect was responsible for that. So the next one we're gonna talk about is a golf course superintendent. If you like to play golf in here, or maybe you might like to play golf when you're 50, well, a golf course superintendent is responsible for managing the cutting of the grass and installing or design of plants on a golf course. The next one we're gonna talk about is nursery operator. A nursery operator is responsible for managing a business that grows and sells trees, shrubs, and other ornamental plants. Just like a nursery operator, a greenhouse manager is very similar, except the greenhouse manager manages a business that grows and sells greenhouse plants. So instead of the plants being in a nursery setting, they're in a greenhouse setting, an indoor structure that houses or has the greenhouse effect where the sunlight is trapped inside and plants can grow even there in cold conditions. The next one is a gardener. A gardener, maybe your mom or dad or even you may like to play in the dirt outside. Might want to plant a couple flowers, some vegetables. Well, you could be considered a gardener. This is also a professional career. And a person who grows and maintains plants for estates, institutions, businesses, houses, they are gardeners. The next one is a landscape contractor. So just like we talked about the landscape architect before, once the architect designs the landscape, then the contractor can install that landscape. They install plants and they even maintain those landscapes. Just like we talked about vegetable and fruit production before, there's also a few different careers in vegetable and fruit production. The first one is a vegetable grower. So you can either be a traditional grower, a hydroponic grower, or organic grower. So traditional usually deals with large scale um, agriculture. It deals with growing tomatoes, peppers, or any other vegetable. Hydroponic is growing vegetables using water or without the use of soil. And then organic grower is you grow vegetables organically, which is the opposite of traditional and as a lot of people may like to compare it to. Uh, so a vegetable grower grows and sells vegetables for the fresh wholesale or retail markets. So you think Walmart, food line, if you buy vegetables, a vegetable grower had to grow it for that food to get there. The next one is a produce manager. You might have seen roadside uh, produce markets on the way to the beach. Uh, that's very popular. So a produce manager manages retail produce departments of grocery store. So instead of just the roadside markets, we also talk about you go to Walmart or Whole Foods or wherever you like to shop for your vegetables. And the produce manager is responsible for keeping those vegetables looking beautiful. So you want to buy them. The next one is a winery supervisor. You're in, a, um, you're in North Carolina, which is, houses a very diverse agricultural system. In that agriculture in North Carolina, we deal with grapes. And with grapes, well, we can make wine. So a winery supervisor manages the, the production of wines. Just like we talked about agronomy before, there is a few careers in agronomy. And here's three to give you an idea of what you could go into after you graduate. An agronomist is a specialist in soil and crop sciences. So not only do you have to have a horticulturist to grow the plants, you also have to have an agronomist to specialize in the soil, which is without good soil, we can't have good plants. Uh, the next one is a forage manager. Before, we talked about forage. Forage is what cows eat, horses. It is those hay and grass plants that are fed to animals. So a forage manager, it grows, manages, and sells hay for hay crops for various animal producers. The next one is you can work for the federal government or a third party and be a federal grain inspector. 
So we care about food safety. Without food safety, it's hard for us to have a good food supply or even people to trust you know, what you're gonna eat at your next meal. So a federal grain inspector is one of those people that keeps uh, your food supply safe. And specifically, they inspect harvested grain crops. The last few that we'd like to talk about for plant science careers is a plant physiologist. A plant physiologist is a person who studies plant processes and functions. So why do we need a plant physiologist? Well, if you have a disease in your plants or you wanna figure out how to make a plant better, well, you gotta actually know how that plant functions. How does it work? How does it absorb sun? How does it absorb water? How does it produce fruit? So a plant physiologist is the person that studies plant processes and functions. A plant breeder, you're, in, you're very close in Raleigh to North Carolina State University. North Carolina State University is a great institution uh, that has a lot of plant breeders that work there. Plant breeders is a person who develops new plants through selection, hybridization, and other um, plant characteristics so you can create bigger and better plants, whether those plants are in the vegetable industry, making bigger and better fruits, or those plants can be in the ornament, ornamental industry, you know, a new flower color, you know, what's gonna be bigger and beautiful for the next year. The next one is a plant propagator. A plant propagator is a person who reproduces plants, hence the name propagate. When you propagate something, you reproduce it. So in order to have more plants the next year, you gotta have a plant propagator to make more plants, so they reproduce plants. An entomologist, we talk about bugs. An entomologist is a person who studies insects. We gotta know all about the bees and how they're gonna pollinate plants, and we also gotta know about how insects hurt plants. So we gotta learn how to kill them. So an entomologist studies plants.